Welcome to the vlog. Today we are going to talk about the WTB Venture 700 by 40. But first, let's go on a quick ride. I got the WTB Ventures for the gravel race in Bongabon. The gravel race featured so many different kinds of terrain and I wasn't, I'm not from Bongabon, Nueva Ecija, so I didn't know exactly what kind of terrain to expect. And so I thought it would be good to get a gravel tire that could handle all sorts of terrain and from reading stuff about the WT Ventures online it seemed like that was the tire for it and I got the tire from Cycle Meeting Cycle Meeting is this great online shop for bicycles you can get so many cool stuff there really good prices stuff that you can't really uh, find in the Philippines as well even and um, yeah I have friends order there all the time so I'm gonna put their Facebook page in the YouTube description and then uh, should check them out they're a really good bike shop and have been very helpful to some of my little escapades thank you cycle meeting all right back to the WTB ventures I usually run my WTB ventures at 35 psi I've done about 800 kilometers on them. So this isn't really a review, but more of a first impressions. So when I first got the Ventures, definitely first tried them off-road. And they are a very capable off-road tire. Like going back to the race, the race featured so many different kinds of terrain. Uh, something much gnarlier than this. like big rocks, sand, and the tires handled them wonderfully. Uh, it was a race where a lot of people crashed and a lot of people crashed in such a way where you're going fast on a straightaway and it's kind of off-roady and you take a sudden left or a sudden right and the people who were going up at speed uh, as they were taking the curve, some of them were slipping from underneath. And that never happened to me. Um, I also think I'm pretty okay at off-road handling, but I never thought that the tire was in a situation that it couldn't handle. So that is a plus on the WTB Ventures. Definitely a good off-road tire. Like a lot of gravel tires are a little bit in between in terms of off-road and road capability. So there are a lot of really good uh, road gravel tires that are fast rolling on the road and they don't handle as well off-road. They can do it, but once you start trying to go fast, once you start trying to put the power in, there is a tendency for these tires to slip or just not have as much traction. And as you can see, the WTB Venture has a lot of traction. of the WT Ventures to handle a wide uh, wide range of terrain especially off-road terrain impressed me a lot especially when you are going at speed a lot of gravel tires can handle pretty much anything but some of them means you have to kind of go slow these tires you can kind of push the speed and at least for me, I didn't really lose that much confidence 
in them while going at speed in sketchy off-road situations. Which brings me to the on-road performance of these tires, like cemented road, paved road, and I don't know, but it, it's felt a little sluggish on cemented road, like, so, I mean, this isn't that surprising, I think. I think that the more capable a tire you have off-road, the less capable they become on the road. So, here's the caveat though. The caveat is that the tires that I used previously to the WTB Ventures were Panaracer Gravel Kings 700 by 35 slicks or semi-slicks. Basically something that was good on the road. So those felt fast on the road and as soon as I put these on, they felt immediately sluggish. And I've done like 100 kilometer rides on these things on like all, you know, all paved roads and it really does feel quite sluggish on a paved road. So like if most of your riding happens to be on paved road with, with small sections of off-road, which is the type of riding that I usually do, these tires might frustrate you once you hit a long stretch of tarmac. Uh, I know that it's happened to me once. <laughs> Oh, I, wanted, I want to try something before we go back. I've never done, or at least I've never been able to finish this trail with 700C tires. Let's see if these guys can do it. That was really sketchy. <laughs> Made it even slippier than usual, the rain. Okay, foot down. Was still not able to do it in 700 C tires. I have an Audax coming up. So that's why I'm gonna change the tires in the meantime. Change it to some slicks. Uh, these are kind of old, but hopefully they'll fit and they'll work. If not, then I'll go back to the 35s. Um, because I'm going to be doing a lot of road riding and, and in the spectrum of gravel where you have a lot of road and a lot of off-road, the venture lands a little bit more towards the off-road. Okay, excuse me. I got a lot of work to do to change the tires. No boring days. Please subscribe. All right, back with the 700 by 35 Span Eraser Gravel Kings. Uh, we're going to do some road riding for the Audax. And I'm gonna switch it back to the WTB Ventures for the off-road race. Good times.